Hello guys and welcome back to my Juventus Super League career mode. This is the team we're using and I just want to say, Ozil, <laughs> we've got him. Arsenal have signed Ozil. There was a video just up before this of Ozil in FIFA 13 head-to-head -head seasons. Um, but at the time of recording that, I, it wasn't actually official. But now it is. I just want to say, what a signing. Arsenal have measured Ozil at their club. That is just astonishing. And it, I, I can't get over the fact that we've actually got him. So I just wanted to start the video off by saying, oh yeah, <laughs> it feels really good. But anyway, today's match is Napoli and the mighty Arsenal. So we've got some key games coming up. Napoli, I think we should be able to beat them as well as Arsenal, but you just never know. Um, and this is the team that um, we're going to be using. We've got Koscielny, Ogbonna and Chiellini. This is pretty much my starting eleven, to be honest. Uh, Pirlo, Vidal. Isla out on the right with Asma on the left. Ozil in the middle. Lamella and Tevez playing up front. It's a really solid team. And hopefully we can get some points against these two teams. Let's have a look at the league table right now. Because as we left off, Bayern Munich were just below us. Ah, oh, they've caught up. You can see already. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it properly. So yeah, when we left off, I had uh, played an extra game compared to Bayern. And if they won, they would obviously go top on goal difference, which is exactly what's happened. But Barcelona still have yet to play their game. Look at Man United. They've got a game in hand. We've got a game in hand on Man United and they've only reached 14 points. So it looks like they're going to drop out to fifth or sixth. But at the moment, we are level at the top with Bayern. They're just beating us on goal difference, which is absolutely awesome. Obviously, they're going to be scoring a lot of goals. But defensively, we're doing, I think, the best in the league. We've only conceded five goals. compared. Well, same with Barcelona. Every other team has conceded more than five. So that's good to see. Defense is working well. And we've also scored 13, which is the second highest in the league as well, which is uh, definitely a good thing. So we've got Napoli at home and then Arsenal at the Emirates, which I'm very excited to, to play. I love going to the Emirates on this game. I think Emirates is one of the best looking stadiums in the world. Obviously, I'm biased. I'm a bias? I'm biased because I'm an Arsenal fan. But in FIFA, it looks so nice. The pitch is beautiful. Um, but actually, I'm thinking about it. My favourite stadium on FIFA is probably, is it the King, King Fahad Stadium? I think that's how you say it. Um, as well as the Juventus one. I do really like it. But um, anyway, that doesn't matter. We're against Napoli here. A very, very strong forward team. They've got Hamzik. They've got um, Cavani still, obviously, because they haven't updated the squads yet on, uh, on, on FIFA. And I've lost out here. That's not good. Ugh, Cavani's almost scored as well. Oh, Ozil's in some space. Come on, son. Near post. <laughs> Oh, and it's 11 minutes. Again, I am scoring so many early goals, but look at that space. Terrible defending from Napoli, and I tell you what, I think that may have just snuck in inside the post. I just want to take a look at this, because I always score goals like this and think, how close was that to missing? I mean, literally, it doesn't get more accurate than that, does it? That is a really nice finish from Ozil. Oh, bollocks. Oh, Hamzik's levelled. Man, I got very unlucky there. I made two decent, like decent time tackled, but they just they didn't they didn't work. It, it just did not work, and they they've gone through and scored there. And it is Hamzik, who isn't the paciest of players, but he can get through. That that tackle wasn't the best, and then Ogbonna just stood off there. That's not good. We've actually conceded a goal, which is it's very sad. Are you serious? <laughs> what? The <laughs> what the hell just happened? Did, did that actually just happen? I can't believe this. That is the that is the funniest goal I think I've ever conceded. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I'm not even angry at that. That's just hilarious. It's actually hit on Bonner's back. Oh, don't tell me I'm getting yellow as well. Oh, that was poor. I can't believe that's just happened. Oh, surely. Surely not. Whoa, did you see the bend on that? Back in the game. I tell you what, Ogbon has made up for his mistake. I didn't think I was going to score from a corner, but that, the bend on it from Pirlo, it's just, you cannot defend against that. And it's a really nice header from Ogbonna as well. Two all, four goals in 34 minutes. That's awesome. Yes, come on. Come on, Tevez, rebound. Yes, what a goal. How has he scored that? Fuck. Five goals in this first half. What more could you want? That surely deserves a like, guys. Drop a like while you're watching this replay. I'd really appreciate it. 
What a goal this is. The, the angle he's got that in from. De Sanctis should be very upset about that. But that is a really classy finish. Some great goals in this first half. Ozil with the pace. Look at that. Far post. Oh, he's almost got that one in. Can we keep it in? We can. Here we go with Isla. Cross that towards the back to Tevez. Oh, that's some great defending there from Napoli. Come on, Lamella. Oh, he's just missed out. Five minutes remaining. Can we defend? I don't want to concede. I really don't want to concede another goal. Two is enough. Poor defending today. No, this isn't feeling good. I'm feeling bad about this. A oh, Hulk <laughs> He just He just goes ham, doesn't he? He's brilliant on this game. And in real life. Come on, Lamella. We still haven't got the ball. This is just like... They've, they've constantly put this pressure on me. Oh, no. <laughs> Maggio has missed a very good opportunity there to score. Are you serious? Oh, for God's sake. Of course it's the 90th minute, but... I can't really blame the game for that. I did some really, really bad tackling there. Let's see if Lamella can just go on an insane run here. Come on, Lamella. Oh, my God, he is actually doing this. He's actually doing this. Oh, no. Don't blow that whistle. Don't you dare. Oh, oh my God. i tell you what, though, guys. A six-goal thriller with Napoli. I think that is a is a... It's an okay result based on my poor defending, but there we go. Three all, and now we move on into the Emirates game. Well, for this game against Arsenal, I've had to switch out pretty much the whole team. They were all very, very tired. I've, unfortunately, I've had so many games in a tight, tight amount of time. So um, we've got Casaras, Barzagli, and Benucci playing as the three at the back. We've got Torre and Pogba, which is incredibly strong. You know, arguably could be in the first team, no problem. Lichsteiner and Pepe, Marquisio, Vucinic and Fernando Lorente. So what I'm worried about, guys, is just not being able to score. But we'll, we'll see. Is our for this game. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, Buffon. Oh, God. Walcott, you pacey mofo. Arsenal scored early for once. It's not me. Well, actually, I don't mean Arsenal have scored early for once. I mean the opposition have scored early against me for once. Wow. Six minutes in, we're already 1-0 down. That's not a good start, is it? But let's see if we can get ourselves straight back in this game. Got Marquisio playing for once. Over the top for Lorente. He's won the header, but Vucinic. A little bit slow to, uh, to react there. Yes, Vucinic, please. Please, Mikuel is slow. No, these strikers, I, I, they're, oh, I don't even know how to explain it. Guys, I made the biggest mistake not signing a striker with Tevez. These two are just abysmal. Right, I'm going on attacking. I, can't, I just can't seem to do anything right. Maybe my, my team just aren't moving forward enough. So let's see if this is going to help us out here. Monreal, take him on, Lichsteiner. I don't really want to cross it, but this is the time to do it because I've got tall, tall strikers. Come on, Lorente. Oh. <laughs> and what was I just saying about him? He's shit at shooting and all that stuff, but get him get him on his head and he will score goals. And that's exactly what's happened. A lot of the time I cross the ball and never win headers because I'm playing Tevez and Lamella. It's a stupid tactic, but I'm just I, I always cross it, I don't know what it is. And now is the time to do it with these two strikers, Vucinic and Lorente. We're back in the game. Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god, an Elka. Oh, oh, that was typical, wasn't it? Sell one of your players to them and they'll own you. God damn it. Come on, Matt. What is with the defending? I'm basically going for a draw here now. Please don't. Not while I'm going on the attack. Good lad. Good lad. Right, this is my last chance. This is it. I've got to get something. Oh, fuck. Fuck off, ref! What are you doing? Oh. oh, today's episode has been bad. It's been so bad. My performance. Oh. Guys, all I can say is I've let you down. <laughs> I'm not going to be top of the league anymore, am I? And there it is, guys. 
10 games played and I'm in second position. Two points behind Bayern, who can open that up to five points. God damn it, what was I thinking playing so bad? Chelsea can overtake us as well if they get a win, so... Looks like by the time I, uh, I record the next episode, guys, we're going to be in third, which isn't awful. It's not the worst the worst start to this league in the world. We, we're almost a third of the way through, though, so I, I really need to start winning games again. So unfortunately, one point from six in this episode. It happens, guys, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.